day one you're here and I'm excited. I feel like I should be more calm, but I don't care. <laughs> because you're here, I'm here, we're gonna do this. Deep dive, day one, effortless. Effortless. You all know this saying, no pain, no gain, right? I used to live my life this way. I had to put in a lot of effort. If you want to get ahead, you got to work 10 times as hard. If you want to uh, accomplish all your goals, you got to swim upstream when everyone else is going downstream. It's so untrue, at least for me. What I found to be true in this life is I want to go downstream with life. I want to go downstream with this energetic web that connects us all, right? Developing a relationship with my intuition that I know and I have all the tools within me to live my best life. I spent a lot of years looking for validation and looking for answers outside of me. And it wasn't until I, I began a steady meditation practice that I realized I have everything within and you have everything within. And if you get nothing else from this 30 day journey, get this, you have all the answers. I'm not saying anything or doing anything that you don't already know. Sometimes, because of the way society is set up now, we forget that. So this is a remembering, as much as it is a reawakening to the internal strength and confidence and power that each one of us holds within. And to realize that this effortlessness comes from repetition. This idea of, it came so easy. You know when you're in a flow state, um, as a nat former athlete, I would call it a flow state. A state where you're doing things without even thinking. You're like, gosh, I'm moving, everything's working out for me, everything is always working out, and uh, I'm able to move and, 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 um, and have things right at my disposal. And, it's this seamless feeling of being plugged into something greater than anything the mind, the conscious mind can comprehend. And I found when I started to, to let go and to allow this meditation practice to be just that effortless, I don't need to try to relax. I don't need to force myself to find calm because when you attempt to force and to put effort towards achieving a specific state, it doesn't happen. It's through the repetition of coming back and finding stillness. Shoulders relax, calm, breathing in, breathing out. That's when we just start to develop this effortless relationship with our meditation practice. And as a result, the ripple effects as we move through our life. Relationships with other people. Like, oh, you seem really different. There's a calm energy around you. Well, you, because you have practiced that calmness. You have practiced that confidence. You have practiced. And what may feel phony at first, through that repetition, becomes second nature. And now you're no longer trying to do anything. You just are. And that's the remembering that I want to get back to. That's the reawakening that I want to see in everyone that I teach meditation to everyone that teaches me meditation because this is a two-way street this is not me talking to you this is energetically you talking to me right now i can literally feel you through the camera even though we may not know each other even though we may know each other and haven't seen each other in a long time i am literally in my mind and in my heart feeling you and seeing you so when you come to practice every single day in this meditation practice, leave all of your expectations behind of how this should go, how this needs to go, I, I, how I want it to go, let it go. And allow each session to be whatever it is because I'm gonna tell you what, most of the time, if not all the time, it's usually something unexpected, okay? So the meditation we're gonna get into today, it's called the 478 meditation. And I want you to bring this sense of effortlessness into it because all you're gonna do is you're gonna be counting while following your breath. Now the four count, the first of the four, seven, eight, is an inhale. So it's something like inhaling one, two, three, 
four, and you're gonna hold your breath for the second number, which is seven. So as I get to the top, I hold two, three, four, I'm relaxed, six, seven, and the exhale is for an eight count. I really wanna elongate that exhale. When I elongate the exhale, I'm communicating with my nervous system, everything's okay. Two, three, that's an eight count, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it repeats like that, four, seven, eight, and I'm gonna be counting. So all you need to do is stay on my count and follow your breath. If you get lost along the way, okay. That's the whole point. Your conscious mind, especially if you're just starting out, your conscious mind is going to want to take you somewhere else. Why? The conscious mind hates change. <laughs> if it could stay the same, even if it's unhealthy, if it could stay doing the same course, it doesn't want to waste energy, it would, even if these habits are unhealthy. So it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period when you say, no, actually, conscious mind, this is what we're doing. And you keep coming back, keep coming back. And then it becomes effortless because now you're in charge of directing that powerful conscious mind. Okay? So comfortable seat. I would recommend sitting for this. I'm in a chair, so it doesn't need to be cross-legged. Let's get that out of the way. Any comfortable seat. Yeah, deep breath in and clear the channel. Close down your eyes. Get all the excess movement out of the body. Get it out. few deep inhales and exhales and with these deeper breaths I want you to start to settle in begin to settle and the movement becomes less and less and less and less and what I'd like for you to do now as soon as you be find yourself in a relatively still space is take that powerful attention and where I want you to bring it is to your face. And I want you to relax your forehead, all the muscles of your forehead relax. All the muscles surrounding your eyes, tell them to relax. No tension. And then I want you to take that awareness and bring it down to the muscles of your lower jaw. And I want you to release all of those muscles there. So much so that perhaps there's some space between your top and your bottom teeth. Your tongue resting against the roof of your mouth. Calm and relaxed. Again, if you catch your mind going somewhere else, it's okay. You got it back, right here. Jaw relaxed, eyes relaxed, forehead calm. You start to hear that conscious mind asking questions. What's going on? How much longer is he still with us? I'm always here, I'm right here. You can begin to communicate with your own mind and say, everything's all right, relax, I got this. Yes, but what about the thing we have to do later today? We'll deal with that later, right now we're doing this. Thank you so much. And that simple act of relaxing forehead, eyes, jaw, that's gonna now move down like a slow rolling wave down the rest of the body. Your neck, all sides, front, back, left, right, relaxed. Let's move down the length of both arms, the entire length, right? Just a slow rolling wave all the way down, 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 relaxed, calm. I want you, as if nothing else exists, you go into your hands eventually when you get there, and you feel, maybe for the first time, this morning, this afternoon, today, your hands, your palms are relaxed. Your fingers are relaxed.
You take your awareness back up your arms and eventually to the collarbones and from the collarbones down the chest, everything, relax. The upper chest, the mid chest, the lower chest, relaxed, calm. Down to your belly, your abdominals, everything relaxed and calm. Upper, mid, lower, even your pelvic floor. Try to imagine there's a big release happening. Like for the first time, you're able to breathe into your belly fully. Don't need to pull it in. We hold a lot in our abdominals. But right now, it's not necessary. Let it go. What helps sometimes is just to breathe fully all the way down into the lower portion of the belly and feel that area expand and contract. Expand and contract. It's moving down into your hips, the entire area surrounding the hips. Moving down the length of your legs, the tops of your thighs, the inner thighs. Actively feel those areas release. Outer thighs, backs of the legs. You go down past your knees, into the calves, into the outer shins. Calm, relaxed. down past your ankles into your feet, soles of the feet, your toes. You might not have even thought of your feet at all yet. Now you are. It's all that exists. Relaxed feet. You might even notice what your feet are resting on. The mind drifts, bring it back. you're ready, take that awareness up, 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 up your legs, past your hips eventually, through the abdominals, and right to the center of your chest. And you're going to make a decision now right here and whether staying just as you are or taking a hand and placing it right over the center of the chest. Doesn't matter which one. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's none. And if it's none, I want you to bring all of your attention to that space, the center of the chest, because this is where the energetic heart resides. And this space, 5,000 times more intelligent than your mind, than our mind. So hold that there, that, that focus or if the hand is across it, feel what's happening there. Maybe it's just a warm touch, right? Just the sensation of touch. Maybe it's the heart beating against the hand, the hand against the heartbeat. Whatever you notice here, just bring awareness to it. When we do this consistently, nothing else exists. The mind doesn't have anywhere else to go because now I'm touching my own body and it wants to know what's going on and I want to bridge this beautiful energy between the heart and the mind which usually gets blocked but right now we're creating an open pathway in between both and to do that all I want you to do is focus for the next few moments on breathing into your hand whether it's there or not, breathing into that space. Air moving in. Air moving out. Air moving in. Air moving out. Air 
Know that when you lead from this energetic heart space, you're truly in the present moment. So there is no worry, fear, anxiety, doubt. All that can exist is love, gratitude, compassion, happiness, joy, confidence. Start to deepen your breath. And priming the lungs for this four, seven, eight count. One more oversized inhale. Exhaling. Inhaling. Let all the air out of the body. Push all the air out. Here we go. Follow my lead, okay? Take a breath in for one, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Inhale. Two, three, four. Stay with it. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two. Three, doing great. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three. Four, slow it down. Five, six, control. Seven, eight, beautiful. Inhale, two, three, four, no problem. Hold, two, three, four, five, relax. Six, seven, exhale, two, three, Four, five, easy, six, seven, eight, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, beautiful, exhale, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, best you can, eight, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, Four, five, six, keep coming back. Seven, eight, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, doing great. Exhale, two, relax, three, Calm, four, five, confidence, six, seven, power, eight, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Inhale. Two, three. Keep going. Four. Control. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Slow. Two. Twice more. Inhale. Two. Three. Four. Hold. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, stay with it. Last one. Inhale. Two. Three. Four. Hold. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Beautiful. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And now just breathe naturally. Naturally. In and out. Naturally. In and out. No sense of time. No sense of space. For this last few moments, I want you to take that incredibly powerful awareness of yours and bring it back to where your hand is. And if the hand isn't there, bring your, all of your attention again to the center of the chest. And what I want you to do is from this, this heart space leading through the lens of the heart, I want you to conjure up in your mind, I want you to imagine that all your needs and all your goals and all your desires, they're met right now. And I want you to see in your heart and see in your mind what that looks like. What does it look like? What does it feel like? That the intention that you have, not only for this challenge, but how you wish to move through the world, what does that feel like? You're already there. You're already embodying it. Who are you surrounded by? Who do you see? Are you by yourself? Make it so specific and personal to you that it hasn't, you don't have a choice but to conjure up some kind of emotion. You look into the eyes of a loved one. You feel the sand beneath your feet. You feel the breeze against your face. You hear the sound of trees blowing in the wind. Whatever it is for you, go there right now, just for a few moments. Go there with all of your being. Remember, your mind can't tell the difference between what's going on when they're open or closed. It thinks it's real. Make it real. Feel it right now. Go there.
want you to take all of this wherever you are right now in your mind. And you might decide to stay here for longer, and that's your choice. So do it. But I want you to take this, take a snapshot of it in your mind, take a snapshot of it in your heart. And I want you to use it as a touchstone as you move through the rest of your day. I want you to use it as a reminder that you are in control of everything that goes on in your life. All the confidence, happiness, gratitude, joy, love, it's all inside you. And with that, if and when you're ready to come out, you bring awareness back to your hand or you bring awareness back to the heart center and for a moment giving yourself huge amounts of gratitude right now huge amounts of love for doing this for turning inwards for holding a sense of stillness for doing something meaningful something positive for yourself always knowing that you have a choice. And it's in this state of gratitude leading from this very powerful space and place that we'll seal this practice together. Deep breath in through the nose. Easy exhale out through the mouth. Easy breath in, and easy breath out. I'm breathing in all the positivity and love, and letting go of the rest. And as you finish that exhale, you release your hand when you're ready. You open up your eyes when you're ready. Maybe hit the microphone with your hand if you're ready. <laughs> but you stretch your body, you come back to this reality knowing that the reality you just experienced is a reality no other than with the eyes open. It is just as powerful because what you're working with is energy. You don't have to see it materially anymore to believe that it's true. You believe it because you think it. You believe it because you feel it, more importantly. And bring that to the rest of your day. Bring that to your interactions with people. We're all reflections of each other. So as always, I'm honored to share this space with you and I'm very excited to share it with you tomorrow. But for now, enjoy this. Enjoy it. And when you find yourself moving future, past, come back to this. Remember this. Remember, remember, remember. Effortless. It's effortless. I'll see you tomorrow. Bowing in thanks. <laughs>